And I really wish I had recorded desktop audio, but I was just figuring out how OBS worked, so, yeah. And I think my main goal right here was to max out cloaking and artillery beam. So, I think the store... I don't know if I had any sellables, actually. And I was like, oh, look at these weapons, they're sick. But I don't need them, not where I'm going. Okay, I had a stun bomb. Ooh. And, uh... I forget, I, I proof a couple times that I did uh, do it on hard mode. With like a... Whatever it's called. I don't even know. I just like opened up the pause menu. I think right here... What do I max out? Do I max out cloaking? I can't even remember. But yeah. Sorry if this commentary seems forced. I'm just waiting for the boss fight so I can explain my thought process on it, and I suppose some commentary is better than absolutely no audio at all. So here we go, starting the boss fight. I did decide to get level 3 cloaking. But uh, yeah, so hack the artillery beam, which was a little bit lame. You can see my very expressive distaste through the mouse movement there. And then uh, from here it was a very easy clap on all, on the first two phases. Did not get any crew kills because obviously I'm just one-shotting them each time. But, uh, actually consistently throughout these fights I dropped down to two shields because I don't even need four shields. And I do line up, I do take quite a while lining up because I, I don't know, I want it to look cool or something. I think for this first one I just had them all going in one direction, or one area. So yeah, that was pretty cool. So easy, uh, first easy phase one, and then I think there's a repair station I hit up to barely squeeze out the 80 scrap, and I think it's actually pretty fortuitous that I uh, got this set up on the Federation A, so I was able to have five beams. If it would have been on any other ship, that would have been cool, but I'm extremely glad it was this ship because it just really. You you go it's you go full beam, it's a it's a, it's insane. The only way you could have one upped it is replace cloaking with like two beam drones, but there's no point to that. So phase two, I think I just do it fast again because there's no cloaking this time. I don't have to wait. I shoot down my defense drone right there just because of unlucky defense drone positioning, but uh, yeah. And then they do board, they do send their boarding drone to my weapons, which is pretty lame, but I have two Mantis uh, anti-boarding squads, so it's all good. And then, I'm trying to think what I was doing here. I think I was just trying to f finish this out. Um, yeah. Did the classic swipe. I saw Thomas do that a lot on his speedrun, so I, I grew accustomed to that. And I always did it whenever I had a pike beam on the rebel flagship, and I was just going for damage. But, uh, I was gonna do the same thing I did last phase, but then I'm like, frick it, let's just do this this time. And just have two beams doing things. And it looked cool. Lots of separate ones. A lot of ones. Then, of course, I max out artillery. And I'm really glad I did not spec anything at all into defense. And you'll see why on phase three. But, uh,. Yeah. You can just see I'm going full balls to the walls on uh, my defense right here. And I'm, I mean my offense, and that's just because I wanted it to be a cool video. And then uh, there's just me taking literally 10 years to heal this mantis. And then I think during this I pause and make, like, yeah, I'm like, there, see, it's hard. And then it was hard mode. But you can, I don't know why I bothered, because you can just tell it from the flagship layout. And I'm like, I don't have enough power here. So I'm like, what am I going to do uh, for this phase three? So I do the strat I usually do. I actually have, I do this basically with every flagship fight I can. But uh, it's, you only really need level three shields for the first, uh, whatever it's called. The first initial volley of lasers. After those three shots hit, at least with my current setup, I didn't ever have to use shields again. So that was my logic behind this. 
So once these three shots hit, I'm just gonna kind of abandon shields. And then I spec everything into engines, cloaking, and I'm like, all right, let's see where this goes. I let my two pike beams fire, I think for, for that pre-igniter. And I think right before the missiles arrive, they fire, which is very good timing. You can see it in the top left of the ship right there, but uh, yeah. They miss, and then I'm like, I might try to save the shields because that could be helpful in case something goes wrong. But then I realize, uh, the freaking rock guy is literally a panzer tank, so I'm like, no, it's not worth it. And then my artillery, which I completely forgot about, completely shredded, like, all the way up the ship, which looked cool. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. So I'm like, alright, let's just set everything up. Let's, uh, do the swipe. I don't know, I forget, I think I get... A little bit more free latency with my with my swipe here. This last one, I'm just like, let's just go straight across because the artillery beam already did damage, and that was a GG. And you can see shields are completely overrated, and they are useless also. <laughs>